So it's Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by my good friend and Hall of Fame promoter, Frank Warren, here in his office in Hertfordshire, surrounded by boxing memorabilia, a testament to your many years in the sport. But on that subject, I do want to ask you about one thing that he's planning, because I think there is a link here. Um, so there's all the talk about Eubank against Ben um, happening in January. He said to me last week that he that will go ahead in the UK with or without the Board of Control. Um, we wouldn't go abroad. The fight's going to happen in Britain. So that decision's up to the board. You know, if the board didn't sanction it, then obviously the fight still goes ahead. And I have to look at my position within the fight. Obviously, it might be different for, for Calla. Um, but absolutely, I want the fight to be sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Legally, I believe there's no reason why it shouldn't be. But the fight will take place in Britain. And um, that's, that's a given. Now, you've got some experience. I know it's a different situation before you go into rant mode against me, but... You did uh, Hay against Chisora, which was with Luxembourg. They're talking about, I think, PBA. He hasn't said that, but I'm assuming that's who they would use. What are the difficulties involved in staging a show without the board's sanction? And did any of your team or anyone involved ever get any punishment for doing so? Because I know the board threatened it at the time, but I don't know if anyone ever actually got any. Well, the, the board have changed their regulations since then anyway to deal with those, that matter. Okay. Um, Secondly, is Chris Eubank going to do that? Because he's the one at the end. The end of the day, is he going to give up his British boxing board of control? What is it? What license? do they risk? Will he have his license well, taken away? I, I believe they will do, because uh, they have changed their regulations. It's not just him; it's his trainer, it's his manager, and and anybody else who's on the undercard. Callum so. Sauerland, yeah, got a British uh, and the people who's on the undercard and so forth. Are they going to do it? I don't know if they're going to do it or not. If they want to do it, I can't stop them. And I've got to be honest, I'm not really interested. I think there's a, a, I think there's two issues that I find disturbing about the whole thing. And before you, you want to compare the David Hay, Chisora fight, neither of them had licences. Hmm. The board, uh, the board uh, took away. Chisora's. No, they didn't suspend. They took his oh, license away. Cancel. And at the question, and I asked the question at that hearing. So he can get licensed in another, in, he can get licensed by another body. Do what you like, and that's exactly what we did. David Hay didn't have a license, yeah. okay? That's why they didn't call him. Otherwise, he'd have been called about the fracas, but he wasn't. And by and personally, I, I didn't feel that it was a. a, a I thought the hear, hearing was dreadful the way it was conducted. It was like being on the set of Mississippi Burning. Um, Topical reference. <laughs> so. You got the the uh, two drug the two failed drug tests, and whether the board should have jurisdiction to hear them in the UK, and they fought that, and they fought that too for now for that not to happen. That's what their lawyers done. He's done a brilliant job for him as far as his clients concerned. Sure. I don't think he's great for boxing, but as far as he, his clients concerned, um, he, that he should have that. He should go to before the board. It's nearly was it? It's got to be a good sort of eighteen twenty months now, isn't it? Since I'm not sure. The, the, it may be a bit less than that, but well, yeah, whatever it's been it a while. is, you know. So it's 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 madness. So they should, my opinion, they should he should go and get it for his own benefit and for the benefit of everyone and benefit of boxing and everybody involved. Go and have the hearing, and even if you even if you can't explain why the stuff was in your system, I would think by now it'd be a re retrospect ban mm. as they always do, because it's at the time of you failed, sure. and you probably have about three months to go. So why why you you know why do this if they give him a two year ban I don't know, um, and as regarding I think it's a really valid valid comment was made after Chris Eubanks' um, fight against Liam Smith his second fight when he said the reason that he got he he, he he was terrible in the first fight and got knocked over and I fancied by the way Liam to win the first fight he said because he was so weight drained and killed him doing what he was doing for the Ben fight and so forth so. That, that hurt him then. So why would he now, what is it, nearly a year, well, nearly, it'd be nearly two years, wouldn't it, or 18 months? I think when, this one is going to be at 160. Well, whatever it's going to be. Okay, well, one, it, it, you know, what's he want to put him through that, put yourself through that again for? I don't know. And, you know, it's not, it, it is, it, it, it's it's like, I don't know, it, it seems to me, I mean, maybe one of them owes, owes uh, Matram or Eddie some money. I don't know why they keep 
pushing this and flogging this like I don't know allegedly who knows but I just don't understand why he pushes it so much he's made I mean from day one he's not acknowledged anything Regard all he keeps saying he's innocent I know him he wouldn't do this well if you know him and he wouldn't do it and everything then go and have the hearing and do you know what it's be, I've got to say it's tedious even thinking about it and talking about it now I don't care they're going to whatever they're going to do they're going to do and the border control at the end of the day have to stand firm they have to, for the sake of boxing, stand firm on this. We didn't break any border control regulations. Neither of the boxers were, were licensed by the board. But then on that, you knew it was a risk putting it on outside no, of board jurisdiction. No, it was no risk. You didn't know what the board were going to do, even though... But they would have said, well, we can. Say, can. You found out later on I that... I didn't find out later on. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I didn't breach any rules. But you were 100% certain that no one connected with it. Question. What regulation did I break? No, I'm not saying that. But well, were you certain that they wouldn't well, take they action? Well, because I break any regulations. You know, no one was, no one was tested positive for drugs. Neither boxer was, was licensed. <clears throat> and we, at that time, boxed under a legitimate EBU member, which was, at that time, was Luxembourg. They are, still are. They were members of the EBU, which the Boxing Board were members of. They're members of the WBC, WBA and everything. And the WBO and other governing bodies recognised the fight and, and, uh, and appointed officials for the fight. BoxRec, we had all that aggravation with over in, uh, as you know, all this nonsense over in uh, Riyadh for the last fight. They put it in their boys, their blokes' records, so everybody recognised it. But there was never any concern on your no, part before the event. No, no, no. And uh, people who look, uh, we put an under the card together with fighters who fought, who were licensed by the Boxing Board of Control. There was no, there was nothing because there was nothing wrong. We didn't do anything wrong. We didn't try and circumvent anything because they said go elsewhere, mm. and that's what we did. So hypothetically then, if you were in a situation as Matchroom are now, we can put this event on, but there is a risk for them, because the regulations have changed, as you say, that people could get in trouble for doing it, maybe have their licences suspended. Is a fight ever big enough that it's worth that risk? No, it's not. I mean, why would you do that? First of all, is P, is, is, what do you call it? P, what do you call it? PBA. PBA. Are they recognised by the BC, WBO, or any of the government? I think they do the Misfit shows. Right, OK. Where, well, oh, is that who does it? Right, OK. Well, they, oh, come on. <laughs> With the greatest <laughs> respect. They, they, they licence all those people on the Misfit show, yeah. do they? Yeah, they sanction oh, those shows. Yeah. All right, good luck. 